throat singer, or humay, is one of the oldest forms of music on the planet, and one of the hardest to learn. With it, performers can use their voice to produce two or more notes at the same time. Some have described it as wind swirling among rocks. <laughs> Nobel Prize winners and even Kurt Cobain are among the millions worldwide that have become enamored with this technique. The Who have mastered it. The Hue are a group from Mongolia who blend heavy metal with traditional Mongolian throat singing. They sound amazing. Since debuting in 2016, The Who have skyrocketed to planetary fame. They have performed for tens of millions of fans, toured with bands like Five Finger Death Punch, Metallica and Papa Roach, and have had their songs play in video games and feature films. In 2019, they even received the Order of Genghis Khan, the highest state award in Mongolia. Back in like about like a decade ago, our producer Daska, he went to his uh, father's birthplace, which is Chandaman Son. He had this idea of like making something new for his dad. This idea of like connecting like old with new, like Western with our Mongolian traditional music. In 2016, we, we started this band and we were just uh, there together, you know, we found, you know, we knew that, you know, who should be in the band because of uh, the love of, uh, for music, and we we shared this common thing. This is our home. We've lived here for over 10 years. Here are some of my wind instruments I collect as a hobby. I try to get new ones everywhere I go. My wife is a musician too. She plays the harp. We made a traditional album after graduating in 2006. We framed it because it contains a lot of memories from our youth. When I was little, I was watching the Mongolian movie Queen Mandukai. My brother Bayara noticed me singing the melody perfectly. At that time, music was interesting to me because all I was doing was playing outside with my friends. Then, I started training under my teacher, Kurel Baatar, at the Children's Palace, where many amazing musicians also started out. It was actually my brother that helped me get in. These are my two horses. This one just arrived from Dornal province, and Yandu Horan just turned two. A Nadem festival, we're celebrating 100 years of Mongolian independence. Everyone with horses wants to participate in the Nadem horse races. I'm planning to race in my home province. It's been over 20 years since I started my musical journey. Being artists themselves, my parents introduced me to arts and music at a very early age. Basically since the day I was born. As a composer, I learned how to write film scores, orchestral music, and how to record professionally. It's been 21 years since my life was linked to the Morin Kor. We respect and honor this instrument a lot, so for that reason we place it in the highest place of the home. The, the Morin Kor is dearly esteemed by Mongolians. There's a saying that a home without a Morin Kor is incomplete, and a home with one is complete. 
This is a hard instrument to play because there are no frets. So you have to learn the notes with instincts, muscle memory, and practice. So every place we play modern horn, uh, we believe that uh, it brings uh, positive energy. In the back in the days, uh, this guy uh, went to the east. He, he fell in love with this lady. And uh, he gifted the lady uh, his, the fastest horse that he had. You know, because of the jealousy, that lady uh, killed the horse. So in honor of that horse, he made the horse a fiddle. So with the tail and hair, he made the strings. And with the other parts, he made the body. And they say that when you look at the, someone <coughs> who's playing the horse hair fiddle, it looks like the horse is like coming towards you. Playing this instrument feels like I'm communicating with nature and Mother Earth. The instrument that I have right now is called Toshur. When you play it, it requires like a lot of different skills. The instrument has a, like a skin, body, but for this band, the Hu, we changed it to a wood body so it can last longer in a, in a harsh environment. This instrument is also really rich in history in Mongolia. It can represent this traditional lifestyle. That's the reason why we use this on our family. Um, the instrument that I play is called jaw harp. Ever since this shamanism story, the people like invented this instrument. Uh, basically, like in every song, we use this jaw harp like here and there. Even though it doesn't matter like if it's like um, too much or too low, it's always there in our music. When we play and use this instrument, it means that uh, we also play in a certain part for this the history of the jaw harp. is a Mongolian word. It's a root word for intelligent being, human being. That's the reason we uh, chose this name, because it's so inclusive. Because we're human being, it doesn't matter where you're from. At the end of the day, we're human being. Even in English language, human starts with H-U. Through our music, we want to inspire others with courage. We believe that every person has worry spirit in her or in him. And we would like to wake that worry spirit up. We want you to help to like go through your difficult times. Like if you're sick or like if you're going through tough situations, we want to help you through our music. So like we want to spread this positive message to everyone so you could feel it through your heart and like mind to mind and heart to heart. Our music bridges the gap between the past and the present between the East and the West. In this world, there's a lot of different cultures and different areas. Like, I think it's divided by two certain things. There's uh, one who's doing it with uh, his heart and one who's just imitating, just copycatting. The Who have been chosen as UNESCO's 2022 Artist for Peace, an award given to personalities that use their influence to help heighten public awareness regarding key issues. They are the first metal rock artists and the first Mongolians to receive the award. They are traveling to Paris to attend the ceremony and perform several live shows, including an acoustic set at UNESCO and a special concert at the famous Casino de Paris. They begin their journey next episode.